here in this video i'm going to show you how to design this nice looking mock-up someone actually requested for a video like this was asking me if i can actually design something like this i should make a video i told him that okay yeah i'm going to do it so this is the video um uh, as you can see by right, so looking at this mock-up about eight screens and we have two different types of screen two different kind of phone screen we have the one with black and also the one with white and also shadow around and also a, a shadow around it all right so i'm going to show you how to do it the screen export all your screens into an image so i have all my screens here in form of image about about eight screens all right so we are going to be using the eight screens so the first thing the first thing i want to do is to is to go ahead and create a i'll create a phone screen i'll use the iphone 14 plus then the next thing you want to do we're going to convert this into this all right i'm going to show you in a minute so i'm going to create another i'm going to create another rectangle let's go ahead and create a rectangle here inside this same box all right what you can do is you can actually just make sure to make sure that everything is actually equal you can put it just create a new box that is same size of the iphone 14 plus then you can hold your shift and resize 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 just a little bit then drag it into the middle of the screen all right the middle of the phone screen so we have the iphone 14 again so now why am i why i'm actually putting this inside the frame is because so we can actually convert this into an image right because when you're actually trying to do your mock-up you might actually need it as an image so you can you can resize it and make it look nice all right so now we're going to add radius to it and to add radius is really easy come into this section you can see right here then i'm going to give radius of about 20 then um, we can actually leave the color then add a shadow sorry a stroke a stroke then we increase the stroke from one to let's say 20 let's see 20 i think 20 is 20 okay let's say let's say 15 all right so i'm going to, i'm going to pick the color i think the color here is different from the color here so i'm going to pick this all right no let me do that again all right okay so this is the color okay if you notice the stroke depending on the kind of stroke the stroke might be inside what you want to do is to take it outside so the inside you notice the inside if you notice the the shadow i mean the stroke inside are not looking same with the one outside all right so you take it change it to outside then if you notice now to be to have this round inside shape and outside i'm shook all right so the next thing you want to do is to create this once you create this iphone stuff at the top it's very easy to create let me show you how to do it i will zoom in now let me take it so you guys can see what i'm actually doing all right so i'm going to create a new rectangle it's going to be the same color all right i'll just put it this way so now i'm going to add like a radius to it i think i'll give this radius 10 then i'll change the color to i'll just pick the color then boom right then now we have the color i'll just align it so it will be in the middle okay so now it's in the middle so you notice there is a line inside you just have to do the same thing you can actually copy this you copy this then you just resize it a little bit I'll just resize this then place it in the middle as easy as that then change the color i'm not going to pick the color i'll just select nice looking color then we have that then you can actually try and you know adjust it to get the right you can take it up a little bit then i'll just reduce this so we have this all right so we have this so now we have the mock-up and you notice there is this side button there is this uh, power button volume up and down then switch so i think this is an iphone this is an iphone um, screen so i'm going to duplicate this again 
then this time around i'm going to do the same thing just as we did for the volume i'm sorry for this speaker do it do the same thing all right so i'll take it i'll take it here all right all right i'll then i'll duplicate this i'll duplicate this i'll place it here duplicate this i'll duplicate this all right so this is i'll resize this so it looks a little bit small like the switch all right so as you can see right here we have the phone so the phone is set so we can also do the same thing just like this down stuff we can also do it here let me zoom out so i'll copy this then i'll take it down here then i'm going to increase it then align it to be in the middle okay so now it's in the middle now let's okay so as you can see right here we have the phone screen so we've been able to we've been able to replicate this phone screen i'm sure most of you might actually know what to do from here so i'm going i'm what i'm going to do right now is to duplicate this screen i'll duplicate this screen take this down then the next thing i'll do is to so this is let's let's use this first screen i'll i'll duplicate this first screen i'll bring it out right now here's what you need to do on this phone screen this phone screen what you want to do is to duplicate it all right duplicate the phone screen yeah make sure make sure the screen is at the top then select this, uh, this the screen you're actually trying to use right click then go to max as image sorry it's not maxing make sure the image is so let me do it again let me put this image inside okay so now i'll select this then max i know i know it's meant to be at the top then select this then use as this is it working yeah i think it should let me okay let me remove this stroke because if your stroke is there then it's going to the image is going to you know cover your the out the outline of the phone so you don't want that so now i'll select this image then you can go ahead and resize you can resize this size this so now as you can see there we have it we have the phone screen as you can see right here we have the phone screen all right so if you want to change the color let me show you how to the second one here's what we need to do we need to change the stroke i'm going to select this then so this is the select the one with the stroke then i'll change this stroke to i'll change the value to two then this fill i'll change it to white all right so now what we're going to do is to we're going to increase this all right increase this then we increase this we increase this then we increase this all right so we're trying to get this so if, if we can actually zoom in we can zoom in so we can get the right angle okay i think it's okay i think it's good this way okay so this is it we've done it we can you can actually increase your own to three if you want if you feel if you feel the line is not thick enough then i'll select this we select this one and we change it to white all right we change it to white then we can leave this let me, let me reduce the let me reduce the height let's make the height three all right so we have this so we have this and we have this so i think 
so i don't make the tutorial very long you can actually do this for any of any of the screen if you are trying to create a mock-up so i'll just export for this i'll select this i'll turn off the i the icon for fill i'll turn it off then come to the second one i'll turn it off then now i can go ahead and export or if i don't since i'm since i'm still on figma i want to make use of the same uh the same the same image so i'm going to come to this copy and paste then i'll select image then it's going to take a while then copied as you can see right here so i'll paste it so now i have this screen then i'll come to the second one i'll also do the same thing then copied so now I'll paste it all right so we are done with, we are done with the screens so now to design if you look at this to design this is just this is just i think this, this is just a simple rectangle so i'll just take this and do this like this then boom we have this so now i'll drag before that what you need to do is to go ahead and go ahead and align your you align the screen the way you want it to look let's do that real quick so now we have this i'll, I'll continue to Right, so after that i'll just try and you know i'll just rearrange all the screens right so i have this so now i can select all the screens then i can resize it then now i can take it into this frame so we have this now I can resize a little bit again. I can resize a little bit. Then now, as since you are selecting all the screens, what you want to do is to come to this angle and change the angle. I'll change it by 20. You can also use minus 20. You can use any of the, you can rotate it anyhow you want. And if you don't want to use that, you can also do it like this. Right. You can also do it like this and it's going to rotate as you can see i think i think like this is better than the other one at least the whole image are still going to be in the same position compared to the other one then now what you can do is you can resize this again and let me just okay so here we go now we have this let me go ahead and let me go ahead and get that same screen right so as you can see we have the same screen this screen might not seem a little bit clear this screen is not clear as you can see right here we've done it so i'll select this frame and change the background because this background is different from this one this my own frame is currently making use of a plain white background so I, oh no i don't want that i will select I will select this then pick the background so now here's what you need to do you can add a shadow a drop shadow to it select all the frames then come to effect then drop shadow then you can increase your drop shadow you can increase your increase your blood to whatever percent you want maybe i can put let me put 15. then your placement how do you want where do you want to, where do you want to place your shadow i would okay like this is okay let's reduce this to around 10. go ahead and increase the blur increase the blur to 50. let's say 50 is not okay let's say maybe 70. okay i think 70 is okay so um looking at this you can see we've been able to convert or mc we've been able to create this particular screen into this so let's go ahead and zoom in so as you can see right here we've been able to create this screen we've been able to create it again so this is how you can actually design this kind of mock-up all right using figma and it's very easy and you can also do it there are plugins that can help you do this but but most of these plugins may actually be they are not actually free all right they are not free so if you want to do this this is actually the best way for you to do this for 
let me say for, for free all right so if you actually enjoyed the video and you want to see more um, ui ux videos then you can go to the comment section and tell me what kind of content you want to watch next and i'm going to try, try as much as possible to create a particular video this is viva salt and see you guys in the next video